Hello, so we're back, and this time we have an urgent job. Now, I'm not gonna lie, usually the computer shop this laptop is coming from is charging 80 pounds for a motherboard repair, but because the customer wanted today is 50 pounds on top. So uh, it's kind of important to fix it, yeah? And not only to fix it, but to fix it today. Now, that's a Microsoft Surface uh, laptop, but the laptop came here like, I don't know, the back cover is coming out. So someone opened this laptop. I didn't open, so I don't know what is inside. Yeah. So that's the laptop inside. So we have the keyboard and we have the laptop. Now this has to be fixed today. Don't forget that, yeah? What this is doing? I have no idea, just assuming it's dead. Let me plug the charger because I have the original charger here. Okay, so plug in the charger. We plug the charger. Let's try to find the voltage on the motherboard. So I'm not sure where we should check the voltage. So check here the charging port has a bunch of wires. I never fixed something like that. We have light here. Check that. We have light. So that means the laptop is charging. Where we can check the main power rail? Probably those capacitors, right? And we have nothing and nothing. Good. Power supplies. Those are power, power supplies and we have nothing. And we have nothing. Okay. Where is the battery connected? Probably, I can see the cable here. So probably it's going on the other side of the board. Not sure again. Here we have capacitors and we have nothing, and here we have nothing. So basically we have no voltage on this motherboard. Which is strange because we have the light on the charger. Hmm. What is this here? We have 15 volts here. So those are MOSFETs or what? Let's check together. Okay, so we can see the input circuit, right? So we have two MOSFETs. Check there. Here are together. So what do we have here? Here we have nothing. Okay. Here we have 14.5. And here we have 15 volts. Uh, 15, 14.5. Okay, that's not right. And on the gate we have 14.4. 14.4 on the gate. Okay, that's weird. But the thing is, after this MOSFET, I have no voltage, and I don't know why. So what I will do, I will unplug the charger. Let's switch the... Actually, let's not switch. Let's check the voltage, because the battery is still connected. We have nothing. Nothing. And nothing, no voltage. Let's switch the multimeter on the ohm range. So on the ohm range... Here is fine, it's not short. The MOSFETs, this one is not shorted, and this one is not shorted. Uh, okay, this looks bad. The gates are fine. You know what? I will say let's take the board out because I'm curious to see what is on the other side. Okay, so how we can figure it out what is wrong here? Huh? What do we know? We know the voltage gets stuck here somewhere. So we know after those MOSFETs is no voltage, right? Yeah, here I have nothing and I don't know why. Now my question is, uh, this power rail is going, this is the main power rail, let's see. This is the main power rail or not? It's not. Now the only way to figure it out what's going on here is to find where the output of that MOSFET is going. So in this way we will know the power flow. Yeah. So okay, we know that we have two MOSFETs. Yeah, I got it. But after the second MOSFET, where is going? Because it's not the main power rail there. 
do. Has to go somewhere. It's coming here. To this chip. Okay, so if you have this board, have in mind this chip is managing the input MOSFETs, okay? And now we are focusing on this chip. Okay, 9 to 3, okay, we found uh, the data sheet of this chip, yeah? So input voltage, system output voltage, okay? Good, so this is the schematic, it's exactly like in the MacBook. We had this, one second, we had this. If I don't know, let, let me find the schematic. Yeah, this is the schematic. You remember we had a HP laptop and the VDD pin was not five volts? And we have DC in, we should have voltage from the, we should have voltage. So DC in and VDD. DC in and VDD is next to the other. Lol, 17 and 18. Let's check. So this one is DC in and it's dead. Yeah, dead, dead. And VDD, VDD we have 0 0.5 and again it's not good. So why this speed, which is DC in? You know what is DC in? I will show you what is DC in. So DC in. are two diodes, you see? So one is coming from the system, from the battery, and one is coming from the charger. In this way, this ship, it will always have power. So DC in voltage has to be, doesn't matter, 12 volts, yeah? So I'll come with the power supply, DC in. DC in, input of an internal LDO, yes, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's powering an internal LDO. Connect a diode from adapter and system outputs. Okay. So it should work with any voltage, with any. So let's come with 14 volts there. Check there what is getting hot. So DC in, the chip is shorted, yeah? It's dropping the voltage to, to three volts and it's taking like 600 milliamps. So the chip is dead. Now, not sure if I have this chip, but let me try and find it, yeah? So the notch is there. The notch doesn't have a mark. So we have to keep it in mind, just a little bit of flux. So I believe this is our double diode. Not sure, but I will check. Good, so we remove the old chip. Let's come with a new one. Hopefully it will get soldered. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's check about that uh, double diode. So if I remember, this pin, right, has to go here. And it's not going. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Check there, check there, check there. Check that, you see that resistor? You see it has a bump on it. So what is happening here? So probably the diode is going here. Yeah, and the resistor blow up. And the resistor has to go here. Yeah. I always told you, just because the manufacturer use a specific uh, value of the resistor, that doesn't mean you have to do it. 
you understand? Manufacturer is seeing on uh, is designing the schematic on a certain way, and uh, you can uh, redesign it on the way how you see it. Yeah, obviously it will do the same job. I mean, obviously it will work. But I'm curious to see if that was only the problem. Okay, so we have the charger. And I really, really want to see what's happening here. And the internal LDO, so let me see on this pin we have 14.8. Internal LDO was, I think, here. And has to be like 5 volts and it's like 1 volt and that's not fine over here. Here is five volts, lord. Okay, everything is fine then. We have 8.8 .8 here. 8.8, .8, the main power really is present. You know what? I think we're done here. I think we should test the motherboard so the main power really is present. Exactly what we were looking for. And the keyboard has to be plugged where. Anyone can see where is the connector? Here? So pressing the power button. I can't believe we have picture. That's crazy. And the CPU. It's like, 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 it's like warm. You understand what kind of efficiency is here? So I have the, I have the CPU without heat sink. And it's like warm. Now it started getting hot. No, 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 no. It started getting hot. Uh, let me disconnect it here. I can't believe it's working. That's crazy. Lol. All good? Good. Let's test it one more time. Let me plug the charger. Let's plug the keyboard. You remember this laptop came without uh, uh, with the keyboard removed, so it's no problem to stick the keyboard back. Power button, the laptop it is coming on. Loading the Windows. The fan is spinning? No, not yet. There's no even point. I mean. And the laptop is on. Huh? Yeah, the mouse pad is working. Everything is fine. Okay? Good. So I will stop now. So uh, one more time, I will point this. Yeah, it's no point setting the bar low. Yeah? Just because you never work on a laptop. I mean, yeah, you can open. Maybe you can't fix it. But you are still left with the experience. So you understand? You are still getting something. Even if you cannot ask for the money for the repair. Yeah, If you don't fix it. The experience, it will, you know, accumulate. And uh, at some point, it will be helpful. Okay? Great. Fantastic. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you are looking to support this channel, don't forget you have the YouTube membership and you have Patreon in the description. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.